Well, here's a story for you. It, uh, it used to be a staple in every household office, even the TV newsroom. But the glory days for the typewriter are long over. The clunky machines have become almost obsolete, long replaced by things like computers and iPads. But one young author in Nanaimo is keeping that old school way of typing alive one story at a time. CTV's Chandler Grieve has a story. If you ask most 16-year-olds nowadays, how do you use one of these old things, they'd likely have to Google it. I think it's too much fiddling around with. Like, people, you've changed the ribbon, you have to stick paper in once in a while. Yeah. But Dirk Plant is not like most 16-year-olds. He's not even like most authors these days. He's written six novels in the past two years, all of them on the typewriter. Ideas come in my head, they flow through my fingers and get on paper, you know? And it still works. It has a good ribbon in it. The author moved to Nanaimo from Holland in 2009 and brought with him his impressive collection. Dirk owns 70 typewriters, all from different eras, including this Underwood built in 1909. Sometimes when you open the case, you smell the mold in the ribbon, you smell the oil, uh, you just smell the metal of the, you know, how old it is, and that's kind of part of it, I think. Perhaps more impressive than the collection, less than four years ago, the grade 11 Wellington High School student wasn't able to speak, let alone write, in English. I was using so much basic sentences, like you learn in kindergarten and grades three and four and all that. Those basic sentences have grown into six mystery novels that the young scribe hopes to get published very soon. But Dirk, with all these words and thoughts flowing through your fingers, wouldn't it be easier to use a computer? Yeah, that would. Yeah, I think it would, but that's not the fun part of it. Like they say, uh, sometimes not all the new technology is the best technology, and I can agree in that. A new school author in love with the old school way of writing, I guess you really can't judge a book by its cover. Chandler Grieve, CTV News, Nanaimo.